Greetings, everyone. Hello and welcome back to Panagos, our quaint little town that we have here. Um, welcome back to, yes, well, some interesting, interesting changing times, isn't it? Now, we, in the last episode, boosted our economy quite a bit to a nice income at the moment. And we've also increased our defenses so far that even Sean Le Fetun would now demand or, well, propose a ceasefire. It's not that expensive. The question is, do we really need it, right? Because the pirate is definitely a bit at a disadvantage here because my my ships are rather protected by my, my, my towers that we have all the way out here of Manola. The problem though is, oh, there's another bigger attack from Miss Hunt coming in. And we also have this territory here that is though completely undefended. There is the chance of the pirates getting in. We have 200,000 credits. We could afford it. However, I don't think it's going to be really necessary. So this time we're not going to do it. Sorry, Sean. Because I rather um, get the safe passage with my fast clippers. Let's keep my rum trader there again in the harbor area. Because it looks like Miss Hunt is actually trying to blockade me at the moment. And we'll just have to see how this turns out. There is a bit of loot here. Hmm, this is always, always tempting. But unfortunately, I would lose a ship here or there, I think. I also don't have any ships there. Nope, we only have one more clipper in the region. The last attack actually killed off my frigate and my flagship. So I'm going to wait with that just a tiny bit. And we go back to Panagos right away. Because in Panagos... In our glorious town, we have a couple of things to do. The first one is, I would like to go ahead and have some upgrades once more. So, we have a bunch of farmers right now and we have a lot of timber. And I would like to use this to our advantage by upgrading more people, especially in this region as well. So, this is also core city territory. We have a bunch of workers that we can upgrade to artisans here and also here these guys with that we have more artisans in turn again that we can turn into engineers and that is also something i would like to do first of all let's just get rid of these workers here and then we can continue with the upgrading of a few more engineers we do need a few more engineers before i can build a bank because i don't want to build the bank right away it's a very expensive building and the other thing is yeah we can go ahead and poof upgrade all of these guys here to workers this is going to be nice uh, for my income, but also, of course, for my workforce, pushing a few more people in. These guys that are in the in the center, they're kind of like, and don't want to upgrade, a road can make all the difference. There you go. And with that, we have 100% market uh, coverage as well. I think I've seen a few here as well, right? So this one there, I think especially um, with a bit of a road upgrade, where is the market for this fella? Is it down here, that one? That would be far away. We might also just go ahead. Wait a second. We have enough bricks. So let's just go ahead and upgrade those roads all the way to that market then as well. There is a bunch of upgrades. Oh, ooh, there is the Admiral, but it's just a ship passing by. Nothing we need to worry about. And with that, uh, we're still not getting that coverage out. So another thing I could do, I could just move the farmer outside. Take a someone that upgraded actually, right? And put the farmer back where a coverage is better. So with this, we have replaced them. No big deal. Now, we also, yeah, we need to expand, right? I do need more population. The problem here is that we're getting increasingly close to those farms again. Now, I am actually importing a lot of grain with the Docklands already. We only have a, a demand of five per minute right now. That is around 200... No, it's actually just 100. And we're importing up to 350 right now without a big problem. So we can get rid of more grain farms if I want to. And I think I want to. So let's go ahead and gush off the go. We still have those malt houses here that I can also move a bit further up into this region where nothing really is happening right now. And have those guys together. So there is a, a small industry zone actually now popping up out here in Panagos with a few schnapps distilleries, right? A few malt houses, nothing special, just out there. And people that live close by, yeah, well, they can also just work here. Um, the other thing is the hops plantations. Those guys I can't or I don't want to destroy at the moment. Let's just quickly check it out. Uh, can I actually import hops already? Nah, I cannot do this. Hops would be... 
up here and we do need at least five contracts and hops is actually something that you don't need to import in higher quantities because you don't really need a lot of it let's take the hops plantations just like that and move them all the way into this um empty region that we have there still so this can help us out a bit um because we save the, the space them i think this is actually fine we're losing a few fields but that will be fine too and let's just see, we can make that road all the way down here to that side. And the remaining fields we can then just, once again, fix like that. And once again, this is also not a permanent solution for my hops plantations. And look at the space, yadida. That is perfect, because here we can now continue with the expansion. We do have the main road that continues all the way up, right? And we do have then probably this whole area. Let me just look at the greater the greater picture here. And I'm probably going to have the main road all the way to that side. And then we connect it with this main road, right? So that would be my ideal solution there. And then we got this whole area in the city center that we could use for ornaments, for monuments and stuff like that. And this opens up actually more space again. So here... I would like to start right away with a bit more expansion. Let's go ahead with that block here. I like this block a lot. And let's make it a triple road out of that. I think that would be the best bet. Right. And we can also go ahead and continue over here. That is still within the market reach. With a bit of a high density blocks. Um, and then we have this area available. And here, yeah, here we can just basically go ahead and build us a whole new district now. We do have these pig farms here that I'm going to move a bit. Right. And also these guys here. Very good. We can make the connection here to that industry zone so people can actually also do something then in this region. Let's go ahead and build us a few more houses now. So we do have the courtyard again that we can that we can add here. Um, I can also go ahead with some farmers that have a special entrance then. So this is this is really going to be also high density zoning here, right? So we definitely want to have only high density. A special entrance is probably a bit too much as these guys here will definitely um, be upgraded all the way to investors and higher so i definitely want to make use of the space that we have here as efficiently as possible with really beautiful density blocks some of them of course we will have to remove again because at some point we'll have to add service buildings and stuff like that make another courtyard then here and i really do like my my fountain blocks that we have this one Probably, wait a second, uh, this should work out fine. Uh, yeah, because here we can then make the the road connection. And with this, we can actually make another triple road that up here. Another city or another island. Oh, the Admiral is at four islands now. He continues his expansion. Mm, and here in the center, we might then just go ahead with the marketplace. And also a juicy pop. Let's actually keep the space beside them. The pop, why not, can have its own little garden surrounding it. So where the, 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 the apple trees are being squeezed out, right? Where we can make the own cider then. So I can have a row of apple trees here. For the gardens. And we can also have then just a patch of grass here, really. So this is really just a an area where people can celebrate a bit. Right, and probably also with a few shade-giving trees on either side. Also something for the horses. Right here. And then probably just some flowers as well. So really a simple decoration, but something where people can enjoy the day. And also get a few apples if they like to out here in the city. Uh, let's build the marketplace and yeah, let's build all of them. We have the the timber after all.
Mm, yeah. This is really outside here now, closer to the pig farms. There is the connection then with the schnapps distilleries. Perfect. Oh, look at that. He purchases back the share. We are going to purchase that share again. It's, it's quite valuable. How's Miss Hunt's share looking at this point? It is really expensive for what we would get out of it. Right, and Princess Ching is the most the most expensive one right now. She also settled on a third island now. Right over here. Right, once again, also the Admiral. Another thing I wanted to check is, do we have coffee in now? <laughs> Only eight tons at the moment. So there's still another trader that we need to wait for. Mm, it's a bit tricky. Here we can now start the trade run again. Perfect, the corridor is available. And we are producing the coffee, right? Or is something wrong here with my coffee production? No, we have over 100 tons available. Should be plenty of coffee at the moment. Uh, let's go for propaganda again. The consumption reduction. Definitely also um, income that we need for boosting. And this we can just keep here, reducing the right chance. Right? We have a content population. I definitely don't want to focus on um, increasing my happiness with propaganda. That would be a waste of influence and space for the newspaper. Another rum trader. Are we actually still having rum? Oh, that's perfect. We have a lot of rum, really. Right. Here, let's move those guys a bit. Because I think I made a mistake uh, on that side. I actually don't want to get my city too close into, into that center there. So we're definitely going to keep more space than, than I thought originally. Ah, very nice. I love those engineer buildings during night. And it's quiet on the streets. No riots, no fires in Panagos at the moment. Nothing to worry about. People are riding with their bicycles already. We don't even produce them at this point. But okay. We have these tiny spots available here, right? So where you can always then squeeze in some, some decorations. And we probably should do this. A nice statue perhaps right here. Mm. where people can just enjoy sitting around a bit, right? Together with a fountain, perhaps. Or a statue like this, or a pillar that we can have then as well in a little plaza area. Uh, sand mines that we have then along this key. And that is up to five that we have on one row. And with that, we could also have up to five glass makers, which would lead to 15 spectacle factories down the road. This is, yeah, plenty, I should say. Um, the glass makers, since we have a bit more space now, we can spread out a bit more. Don't forget, this is going to get boosted by electricity soon. So whatever we have in here is doubling its output then at some point. There is still a... Is it a cannery? We have a cannery in here. There's my main canneries. Mm, and we still have one more in here. So I don't think we need that blueprint there at all. I can move the weapon factory probably a bit further down here. I really don't want to have high pollution buildings too close to the city. We are already breaking it here. So I will probably need to readjust at some point. Yeah, right now let's just keep it there. And between that we can then have our glass manufacturing. So I would need to double this. Let's go ahead and have another a glass area than here. Right. Um, we can also go ahead and upgrade that warehouse here to a large warehouse right away. Go ahead and upgrade some roads here. An industry zone with dirt roads. Yeah, it's not really believable. I will also need another warehouse then that we can have just here along the road. That acts as a buffer for us. And then we can go ahead and have our spectacle factories here. They are in low pollution, right? So they are totally fine here. We have, we will have the power plant probably somewhere here. So the boosting will be perfect for it, I should say. And they can all then be boosted. Well, let's just see how many we could squeeze in probably. That would be two. And I'm probably going ahead with two more. And with that, we have this area available then. I don't think we need that many at the moment though. Especially once we boost them, that should be fine. Or... We also could have them just along the the main road, right? Ooh, 
looks a bit cleaner probably overall once we have that and we have a bit more space then as well um don't forget we also have this whole area still available but we are going to use that at some point soon now with that we still need the zinc and the the copper and the brass smelteries now the brass smelters we are going to need a few of them and we are also definitely want to improve them by electricity so the brass smeltery once again is something that's actually a bit dirtier right on the dirtier side of things so i definitely want to have them a bit further away we could also have them in our mountain industry if we set it up right that would be a bit further away then we are interrupted by a message that I expected now, and that is we have leveled up our first export good, that's the soap. And with that, we have made it a bit more valuable. So instead of the 600, we're getting out 750 now out of the potatoes. So I could theoretically reduce the amount of soap that we need here um, wait, to get it up to 650 again, which is then only 164 soap. Right, and now we would need to export 1,500 to get the next level. The sewing machines is still a bit off, but that's because we are not really getting that much grain out of it, as um, we still have lots of grain farms, right? But it's already halfway through as well, so at some point we'll be able to upgrade. How's the coffee situation looking? I'm expecting more coffee. We still have only 8 tons. Is there something wrong with my coffee trade route? Let's have a look at the global map. There's the cotton. There's two clippers entering the region right now. Let's just check this out. I still have my clipper though, right? Yes, it's still active. There's the coffee coming in. Perfect. Nebuchadnezzar. And this is pure gold on board of this ship. As Panagos is appearing that must be a nice sight for the captain after a long arduous journey so we have the glass um next up on the list we do need the zinc and the copper so let's go ahead and have for my for my brass zinc and copper they are only produced two per minute right so actually it's a way slower only 50 percent of what I, an iron mine can do so that we would have the first copper and i think so they are going to have two brass smelteries so let's make two of them so we can have up to four brass smelteries for the moment right so two of them should be fine that means two zinc deposits and two copper deposits there's still one more copper up here deep in the mountains or high on the mountains up here where you can have a beautiful fantastic view over the city and in here we are going now ahead with a warehouse and then a zinc deposit and a copper deposit. With that, we have two copper deposits already. I still will need one more zinc deposit. Ah, perfect. Right here in the industry zone, we also have a deposit. And with that, we can have the second zinc mine right here in the industry zone. By the way, let's go ahead and I think... No, my warehouse is looking fine. This one is definitely looking overloaded. Might go in and upgrade a few of these warehouses then as well the coffee is in right yep the coffee's in let's unlock it for my engineers this will be a nice boost with 18 coin per building and two more engineers per building as well yeah as we can see also the demand for spectacles is in high demand now so we really should provide that i'm close to completion here we only need now a location for my brass smelteries. That is a very dirty building, and that is something you definitely want to have a bit further away, most likely from the city. We could have it right in here in the center. Problem is space. But I think this could work out if I have two like that. And then another two here. Right. That would be already the ones that we need. Um, and then we have this warehouse that I can squeeze a bit over like this. Because that way we can squeeze those spectacles factories up into this area and look at what the space we have then for more brass smelteries. And I think we could even then squeeze in another one here. I would need to get rid of this road most likely. That could totally work, right? And you kind of like would not see it between all the smoke. <laughs> Let's do it like that. That's totally fine. And it's all getting boosted then sexily as well. There's quite the traffic into these mountains there. 
<laughs> disappearing for the new world. I didn't know that you need to go through the tunnels if you want to reach the new world. All right, we have two of each, so I can build four brass smelteries. We should do this ASAP. So this is going to be a lot of brass now. That was also very expensive stuff. All right. And let's also go ahead and upgrade all of these roads here right away with the bricks that we have. You know, in fact, let's go ahead and upgrade the whole industry zone with paved roads. Perfect. The brass is working now. Look at that lightning. Oh, lighting, it's beautiful as the sun is going down right now. And my factories are filled with the fumes of the day. Producing for a bigger city. Now with that, the brass is coming in. We only still need the glass. So for that, I will need also two tent mines. And with that, we can actually afford two glass makers. That I will also have on that side here. And with that, we have now the production of everything that we need for the spectacle factories. I didn't even check how many spectacles we need. It's only one per minute right now. So two spectacle factories will be already the demand met. Let's build them. Really expensive stuff once again. They're also having a pretty high maintenance cost. And that is a thousand, right, per minute. Go ahead and upgrade that warehouse here too. And stop the consumption of spectacles for the moment. Can we still see the production now? Because we have a production of one. It's a bit more than one now, right? So we're in the realms of 1.5. And with that, this production started. We can also see the current date then. That is 1811. So we are advancing through the years with those factories. I think, in fact, we could actually build a third one and be still safe. Let's do this. Definitely want to have a bigger production ready there. A few farmers here. Let's also go ahead and upgrade them. Get us those workers closer to the industry zone. We also have a bunch of farmers in the fountain plazas that like to upgrade now. All right, out there in the ocean, we have a few problems at hand right now, and that is more and more patrols of the Admiral and Princess Ching are passing through. It's just patrols at the moment, right? So it's not a direct attack. The problem, though, is that even these patrols passively fire, as we can see and probably also destroying one of my ships, and it's just a matter of time. So, what I need to do is, we are having a fleet already, and I would like to go ahead here and kind of like patrol with them now along the line. So we can already intercept this Admiral ship over there, even though, yeah, it's going to be a tough one, because I know they're boosted. Still, we have five of, of, the, of the same category of ships, so this should be absolutely fine. And let's get in, just wreck it. Um, the pirate is safe for us, right, so no problem here. And look at that. It's not really losing that much health as my ship is doing. So this is a bit troubling how strong just one of these ships is. Still, of course, no chance. Let's have a look at loot. Must be something better than potatoes, hopefully. Oh my goodness, Captain Felicity Phoenix back from the grave. Uh, very good for the ship, a thousand hit points, negative 100% damage slowdown, so there's no slowdown anymore for damage, and also the ship repairs itself even during combat. This is one of the best ship items basically that you can get. It's also quite valuable, 230,000 credits. We are in no position to actually need that money, so it's totally fine for me to keep it at the moment and just boost my own ships with that. Let's get the, the fleet over there, because I'm pretty sure... There is another ship coming in here sooner or later. There was also Princess Ching not a second ago. There's... Nope. I think we lost her. Because I don't see Princess Ching anymore in the region. Is she... Perhaps she got destroyed by the pirate. No idea. Now, we also have now some damaged clippers. I will not build a repair crane in Tovia, but we should be able to have one here already. So this should get repaired here soon. Let's also build two more flamethrowers. That's pretty important. We need to keep that military score up. Uh, let's just have a look at that. Where's my score at the moment sitting? 123, right? In comparison with the EI, 
we're a third of them. But of course, that's because, yeah, they kind of like, they're over exaggerating here with, <laughs> with those defenses there. Now, also, another thing, uh, we should have now spectacles in. They are in very good. And that means we can open up spectacles for my engineers, which will be another very cool population boost and also income boost, especially. Spectacles pay a lot more than coffee, right? And they also give twice as many engineers per building. That is something. And with that, we will probably reach 25k or something like that right now. Um, we can also use the surplus materials that we have once more. We have 4,000 workers. That is a lot of upgrades, right? That would be a lot of additional artisans now that we can add to Pentagos. And that's actually something we should do, of course. So the city continues to grow. I think in this area we will need now a university then uh, as well. For those guys and for uh, these workers here. A school probably, yes. Another school building is required. And I think I found the location for that already. Move those guys away there a bit for now. We have a school in here. Oh, and we're actually running out of bricks. So I should be a bit careful with how much I do. Yeah, with all the upgrades, of course, it's getting a bit expensive. We have a brick trader coming in from the new world. But we also have Archie not too far away. And Archie is definitely selling us 150k there as well. Unfortunately, though, I don't have any other clay deposits. This island would have some clay deposits available. That we could sell on to get a bit more brick out. Yeah, might be something to consider. This is still working here fine. Lots of traffic in the harbor area. And those guys here are not overwhelmed with what we have. I love industry zones. Really nice to look at them. Alright, it pushed us to 23,000. Not as much as I hoped for. But still fine. And it also pushed us above 30,000 now on the population mark. Very nice. I'm waiting for a few more building materials now. And then we can continue onwards here. Stay tuned. <laughs> 